Good day. In this video, we are going to look at question 2A of the 2021 NCA Chance and Data Examination. And if you can do the whole of question 2A, you will get quite a good grade because there are two excellent questions. In the first, 2A part 1 is an achieve. 2A part 2 and 3 are excellent. And 2A part 4 is a merit. Without further ado, let's read the question. In New Zealand, all dogs over 3 months old must be registered with their local council. A random sample of 60 councils have been selected using data collected from 2019. The display below compares the number of crossbreed dogs and purebreed dogs registered with the council. So in the two graph, this is the box and whiskers graph, the crossbreed dogs are on the top and the purebreed dogs is at the bottom. And the statistics are found on the left hand side of the graph. So now we are answering the question I'm going to bring up because uh yeah this is better now okay the new zealand dog breed association wants to know the average number of pure breed dog registered with each council in 2019 what average would most accurately reflect this required information so we are interested in a pure breed dog so everything above it is irrelevant so to look at the statistics there there are two center or average median and mean so the mean for pure breed dog so you look here the mean is going to be 4512.8 dogs the median is above it 4063.5 dogs so they are the two center or the two average you can find from the graph so which one is more appropriate it all depends on whether there is an extreme value for the data in this case there's one extreme value here if there's an extreme value then median would be a more appropriate measure so the answer is that median is the more appropriate measure to calculate center or the average if you can do that you get achieved for this paper cheers let's do question to be part two okay we are going to adjust the paper a bit okay okay the question in part b sounds like this Compare the sample distribution on numbers of crossbreed dogs and purebreed dogs registered at the council. So we are using this graph to compare the differences or similarities. You need to consider center, shift, shape, spread, and provide numerical evidence where appropriate. Remember the word numerical. You need to show me the evidence. Okay. In the answer, describe at least three different features. Okay. When they say at least three, if you give me one answer, you get a chief. Two answers correct, you get merit. Three or more, you get excellent. So in this case, I'm going to give you four so that if you miss out one, you are still able to get excellent. Okay, we measure the center. The median of the pure breed dog, again, we are comparing the pure breed and the cross breed. The median is here. 4063 is larger than the median for the cross breed dog. The median is 2408. So of course, the median of pure breed dog is higher than the crossbreed dog if you do not you do not want to do median you can also do the mean the mean is also higher for the pure big dog which is 4512.8 is higher than 2743.8 for the crossbreed dog either one is acceptable next we comparing the spread the spread could be the range or the interquartile range but for level one is more useful to use the interquartile range the interquartile range for pure big dog the one at the bottom this box here you take the upper quartile minus lower quartile so that number 5877.5 minus 2460.5 you get the value of 3417 the interquartile range for the crossbreed dog, you take the upper quartile, which is 3883 minus the lower quartile is 963. The interquartile range for crossbreed dog is going to be 2920. Again, we can see that the interquartile range for the pure breed dog is larger than the crossbreed dog. Shift. Shift is look at the box. This is the box here or the interquartile range. This box here is more shifted to the right and we can eventually argue that the number of registration for pure breed dog is larger than the cross breed dog the shape for the shape we look at the dots here this is called a dot plot this not symmetrical is more looking like this okay so this type of graph is called skewed to the right they are not symmetrical and if you can answer three of the four you get excellent for this question okay so i'm going to bring it up so have a read and hopefully you can solve this great next one we are going to do part three again part three of this paper is an excellence okay so we are going i'm going to bring it up so that you can see the answers okay okay 
We said that it's not possible to tell from the data that in 2019, all New Zealand councils tended to have more pure bit dogs registered with them than cross bit dogs. Comment on the claim based on the sample of councils provided. So he claimed that you cannot tell the data, but his claim is false because you can say that pure bit dogs is registration for pure bit dogs is a lot more than the registration for cross bit dogs. How we know this? Okay, we'll look at the some evidence. Okay, I'm going to bring it up first. First, the median for pure big dog is a lot higher than the median for cross big dog. The numbers are 4063.5 compared to 2408. So the we can confirm that the cross pure big dog has a higher registration than the cross big dog. That's evidence number one. Evidence number two is very simple. We can see that the sh box of the pure big dog is more shifted to the right than the cross big dog. Again, this is evident to show that the pure big dog registration is a lot higher than the cross big dog. And last but not least, we can look at the median. The median of the pure big dog is more than the upper quartile of the cross big dog. Okay, so the median lies outside the box of the cross big dog. That evidence itself can confirm that pure big dog in each council has more registration than the cross big dog in each council. To improve on your uh, argument, you can say that 50% of the registration of the pure big dog is more than the 75% of the registration of cross big dog. If 50% or half is more than 75% of the other group, then we can confidently say that the registration for pure big dog is a lot more than the registration for cross big dog. If you can answer two or three of these points, you get another excellence in this question. So there are two excellent questions in this paper and we shall look at the last question which is part four. Okay, part four is straightforward. The question is the data in the 2019 survey was collected from 60 different councils to save money in 2021. The New Zealand Dog Breed Association decided to use the data collected from a random sample of 12 councils. Would you expect the same conclusion? The answer is no, I would not expect the same conclusion for 2021 and the result may not be the same and the sample size, you collect the sample, is maybe too small, okay? It all depends on how big is your sample. If your sample size is too small, then it will cause difference in the conclusion. The smaller the sample size, the sampling variability will be larger. In conclusion, we can say that the result will not be the same for 2021 if we took a sample from the 2019 survey. If you can answer this, that's a merit. And all in all, there are four short answers questions for 2B. If you, there are two excellent, one merit and one achieve. If you can answer them all, you should do well in this paper. Cheers everyone. And if you have any questions, just leave your comment in the comment section below and I'll try to help you then. Cheers everyone and have a good day.